Hi. Uh, this is going to be one of a series of videos that's going to consider counting arguments that are used in probability theory. Now, to begin with, I want to start with an explanation of the Boolean set operations that underlie the things that we're going to count. So to keep life relatively simple here, I want to have only look at certain operations on a, the set of numbers, say, 1 to 10. Now, this actually could be a set of city names, it could be a set of student names, or some things like that. They don't have to be numbers, but numbers are convenient to write down. Now, we want to have some collections of these things that we're of interest in, so I picked out two subsets, one called A here, that's just the even numbers, and then a subset B, which consists of the numbers that are from 6 to 10. Now, the idea of a Boolean operation is that you can build new sets from old sets. And so we're going to build some new sets from the sets A and B. Now, the first one that people usually come up with is called the intersection. And it's written as A intersect B, this little uh, horseshoe thing here, intersection. Uh, the second one that people normally deal with is called the union, and it's written A, and it's a little cup thing, B. And finally, the complement is usually written, say the complement of A would be A with a little prime here. There's other notations that's also useful. Okay, now what does... How do we define these? And what is it going to mean? Well, think about what the word intersection means. An intersection is where two things meet. Think of two streets meeting. So we want to see where the two sets A and B meet. In other words, we want to consider the elements that are common to both. So if I were to write that in mathematical notation, the object will be called X. So we want to look at the collection of X which are in both of these sets. They're the places where they meet. So uh, x will be in A, and x will be in B. OK, so those are going to be the intersection of A and B will be, the, in this case, the numbers which belong to both of these sets. So how can we actually calculate it out? Well, one possible algorithm when you have uh, the list given of the objects here is that you would pick, say, the A set, and you would start through these objects, and you would look for each object and determine whether or not it was in B or not. If it's in B, then it belongs to both of the things, and you would consider it. If it's not, then you throw it out. So let's start through here. So 2 is not in the B list, so we don't use that. 4 is not in the B list, okay? So what about 6? Well, 6 is in the B list. So we've got to have our intersection isn't going to include 6. And now we look at 8 and 10 and see 8 and 10 are also there. So the intersection of A and B in this example is 6, 8, and 10. Okay, now how do we treat the union? Ah, let me also mention that notice the use of the word and here. This is actually important because the set operations correspond to certain connectives in the English language. So the intersection is corresponding to the uh, English and, but of course there could be other words that uh, also uh, mean the same thing. Okay. So we'll see the other connectives in a minute. Let's see. Let's take a look at the union now. What is the union of A and B? Well, the union of two things are going to be the elements that you get by uniting them. Think of uh, if A and B, A would be the students in a math class, and B is the students in an English class. And if you want to invite uh, the union uh, of these classes to a birthday party, uh, you would uh, just throw together all the people in both classes. And so that's what we want to do. Uh, so it's going to be the set of x such that uh, x is in A, 
And what is the connective going to be here? It's going to be or, or x is going to be in b. Okay, and the connective is or. Now, I should also remind you that in mathematics, we use the inclusive or, meaning and or. So think about the uh, inviting the people to the party. Uh, if there were people in both the math class and the English class, you would not want to exclude them and not invite them. Now, you wouldn't invite them twice either. You would just invite them once. So that may help us see how we actually then form the union here. So if I were to take the two sets above here, how would I make the union? Well, the simplest way is to take one of the sets and you just write down everything there because you want all of these people to come. So you're going to put 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. 8 for the 5, okay. And now, so that gets everybody in A. Now, in B, you only want to consider the new people. In other words, you want to invite everybody here, but if somebody's already been invited, you don't have to invite them twice. Okay, so six is already there. Seven is a new person, so we'll put in seven. Eight is already there, and so is ten, but nine is a new person. So it's going to give us the union is going to be two, four, six, eight, ten, seven, and nine. Of course, you'd probably want to order these so that everybody's in increasing order or something like that. All right, that's the Boolean operation of union. Now, what about the complement? Well, the complement of a set is going to be the things that are not in A or not in the set. So in this case, we would write this as to say the set of elements X such that it's not the case that X is in A. Okay, so in the example here, using this as the A, since this A was the set of even numbers from 1 to 10, our complement is going to be the set of things that are not even, so it would have to be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, uh, so and we see here the English connective is going to be the not. All right, so that, uh, and now we can make other combinations of this, for example, if I wanted to say, what is A intersect not B? That's a good one. Now, so these are going to be the things that belong to A, but they're not going to belong to B. So how would we find something like that in this set? Well, we would want to check the elements in A. That's how we did an intersection. But now, we, in A intersect B, we included the elements that were in both of these, now we want to include the elements that are not in B. So if I look at the elements that are not in B, it's going to have to be the things 5 and less. So if I take things that are in A but not in B, it's going to have to be the elements 2 and the element 4. Now 6 we don't put in here because 6 is actually in B. So it was 8 and 10. So it would give us the set. Okay, now I think in the next video what I'll do is I'll take a look at how these Boolean operations can actually classify uh, the elements in the universe into uh, different kind of parts. Thank you for watching.